Milius is a documentary about John Milius and basically Spielberg, George Lucas, Francis Ford Coppola. We all look at them as the ultimate storytellers that we have making films. They look at John Milius as the ultimate storyteller. I'm John Milius. I'm a filmmaker, a historian, and a storyteller. Francis couldn't tell a story like John. George is a great storyteller. He couldn't tell a story like John. None of us. He likes to blow it up bigger in life. A lot of people we would ask, do you know who John Milius is? They're like, no, I don't know that name. Do you know who Spielberg is? Like, yeah. Do you know who George Lucas is? Yeah. How about Coppola? They're like, yeah. And you don't know John Milius. And when you start telling them his resume, and you start telling them his body of work, they're like, oh, wow, oh, wow. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? He doesn't write for pussies, and he doesn't write for women. He writes for men, because he's a man. He's not one of those directors that just goes from one movie to the next. It was a long road trying to get certain interviews. Some interviews, before they were locked down, took two years, you know? Um, we were uh, financing ourselves for a long time until we got some financial help. Um, so it's just like a passion project. We'd work other jobs and then do this when we can. And um, we weren't getting the responses from the interviews that we wanted when we were requesting them. And part of that was because I don't think they thought the project was a legitimate project. So we would, they would always ask, like, well, who else is in it? Who else is in it? Who else do you have in the documentary? So we sat down, Zach and I sat down, and we talked, like, what's, we need, like, a strategy here. So our big strategy was, let's get, like, two or three famous, famous people. Let's really try hard to get three, like, big names, because then that would legitimize the project, and everybody else can kind of start falling into place. And that worked. Nobody in Hollywood wants to be the first one. So as soon as you get the first one, all of them will fall in line after that. The work that John did was not shy in any way, expressing political opinions or behavior that was uh, not fashionable. Over the five years of doing the documentary, I'd say we probably interviewed about 65 people, of which I think 62 are in the documentary. <laughs> well, I think John, in many ways, has a kind of jealousy for the characters he's written and would like to slip into their costumes and play them. Those are the kind of characters he likes, so he wants to be like that. That is, that's his favorite thing, is the kind of extreme man that has no fear. This whole project was a two-man crew. We were lugging the equipment, we were doing the traveling, we were writing the questions, we were doing the camera, we were doing the lighting. We don't do everything together as directors. I mean, we've got a long relationship. We've met almost, I mean, 20 years ago, and we weren't filmmakers then. So we've got a kind of relationship and we've got a language and vocabulary that I don't think most people do. I usually edit, he and I will direct, but we'll kind of split the tasks up as they need be. I'll run camera, he'll ask questions, you know, and then we'll flip. And then he's created this persona. I've heard that he referred to himself as a Zen anarchist. I hear Millions pull a gun on some executive. I like John because he says what he thinks, although I sometimes worry that he doesn't think. <laughs> we also try to explore the, the other side of John, which is his personality. This, 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 this person we call Milius. Milius is the, a, a personality or a persona that he kind of created for the industry. And he's this outlandish, outspoken, speaks with zero filter, and sometimes that could be a detriment but in my opinion, you know, it, it's, it's admirable because he says what he wants and does what he does his way. When we first uh, met John uh, to talk to him about doing the documentary, his first question was, why do you want to make the documentary? The Coen's already made The Big Lebowski. That was one of his first things because he loves that portrayal of him. John, more so than probably anything in his career, is more proud of the fact that he's known for Walter than anything. He's the teddy bear with, a, with an AK-47. He wanted to make himself into a legend.